All right, the next video here after that is the women's Hurricanes team who have just dominated this game. Dominated against Fordham Rams uh, here in Wasel Center. Um, as they have won this game 78-39. That's nearly a that's nearly a 40-point advantage there. That is 39 points. Um, if I did the math correctly. So um so for for the box score we got nelson just uh only got two steals for fordham this is fordham we're talking about lie lee just two points here donaldson with 13 points she is their best player of that team as well she got five rebounds two steals and 13 points a couple of them were three pointers so so not bad for her mcgurk um zero points only came in one turnover, so nothing there from that from her. And Hayford, six points, five rebounds, two assists, four steals. So she did some pretty good things. And off the bench, uh, Nyborg, four points. Harris with two points. Davis with seven points. Um, uh, Flood with five points for her. And then Mia Gills-Jones, or Gills-Jones with absolutely nothing on this stat at all nothing so then we go to the Miami Hurricane side where we have some impressive games Spearman with eight points for rebounds um Williams with seven points with scoring that three-pointer um and she has eight assists Roberts with six points going with seven rebounds um Dwyer with seven points with uh with two with three rebounds four steals from her Patrick with 14 points eight rebounds she is two away of a double double so that's impressive performance by Patrick especially especially with the other counterpart Hilton with 17 points uh, and one rebound, one assist, one steal. I think to me the best player tonight is Patrick with 14 points and eight rebounds. Definitely contributing off, uh, offensively and defensively, especially defensively. It's really nice to see. Um, Aldark, Aldark, if I get that wrong, I apologize tremendously. Um, um, she got seven points, eight rebounds. She was had three, three points and two more rebounds. That would be a double double as well. Stedman. Um, seven with, with five points, um, with, with her, with the one three-pointer. Day Wilson, seven points, one three-pointer as well. Um, Dwyer with, the, and like, and Dwyer with one three-pointer, Patrick with two three-pointers. Um, she had, she definitely did great tonight defensively as well. Hilton has five three-pointers tonight, just five. Um, and that then all adds up to 78 points. All right, so in terms of in terms of play by play, I mean, there's really not much I can say other than just dominance. Uh, Roberts making layups to start off, and then things kind of blew it open. Um, Fordham never really had a lead in this game, never, not once. They only scored eight points. They only scored eight points in the in the first quarter. And Donaldson's three-pointer was the last time they scored until, like, Miami makes that run near the end with those three-pointers, layups. Um, and Fordham, they're being now scored. They're, they're being now scored by 15, if my math is correct. So 23-8, to eight, big-time win in the first quarter. Then the second quarter, it's, it's the same thing. Same thing here. The halftime score would be 16 to 44. So we scored 21 points in the second quarter. Patrick and Roberts making some shines here as Stedman, Hilton, and Hilton. Hilton is up, was incredible in the second quarter, making those three pointers like she did at the, at the beginning of it. But she contributed very well. So I think, along with that, and Aldacre um, contributed as well. So everything, everything is going Miami's way. Third quarter, the offense did not let up. Spearman making layups. 
Uh, there was a brief, there was a lot, there was time off where nobody was making a shot until 6.40 into the game where a three-pointer was made by Flood for Fordham. Simon making jumpers. Shayante Wilson making a jumper. But even still, the game is still blown open as it's still 25-60 in the third quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. And then, and at the end, Miami Stephens was too much for Fordham. Final score of this game, 78 to 39. So, so big statement here in Miami against Fordham, the school from the Bronx. Just dominance. It's just dominance here against Fordham. And their next game is against Southern on Friday at 5 o'clock. And I think there's a doubleheader with the with the Hurricanes at Wasco Center, I think. But their, ne but their next game is against Southern on Friday. And then we have a week off until uh, Black Friday, where apparently there's five games that day. That's going to be an insane day for Miami sports. It's going to be a thanks Miami Thanksgiving tournament that, that day. But anyway, guys, that is a quick recap here. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content, and as always, go Canes. And there's going to be one more video coming out tonight that's going to happen. That's not happening until, like, 10 o'clock or somewhere around that time where the Miami Heat plays the San Antonio Spurs. So we'll see what happens there as we we anxiously await for tonight. Anyway, guys, this is Miami TVG. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe our content because Miami TVG has it back. And when he does, he'll be right there with the entertainment you deserve. This is Miami TVG. Sign out, folks. Good night, everybody.